At this point in our development, an awful lot of the groundwork is already done and all we have to do now is actually solve the structure. So assuming this isn't your first direct stiffness method course with me, you're going to be on very familiar ground in this particular section. In the next lecture, we're going to use the element stiffness matrix that we derived way back in section two and we're going to combine that with the transformation matrix that we looked at in the previous section and we're going to produce for each element the global element stiffness matrix. Now, we're then going to combine these global element stiffness matrices in the usual way into the primary stiffness matrix, which sets up the simultaneous equations, basically the system of simultaneous equations that models the entire structure. Then over the course of the next few lectures, we're going to process these equations and ultimately solve for all of our displacements and rotations, our reactions, and then all of our member actions, which are the axial forces, the shear forces, and the bending moments. Now at this point, our structure will be completely solved, and all we actually have to do then is think about how we're going to visualize this data, which we'll look after in a later section.